Hello, everyone. Welcome to Serendipity Wines Appalachian Deep Dive Series. Every great wine communicates a sense of place. Uh, each one of those wines has a story to tell, the history, the journey, the collected knowledge of each vintage, all accumulated in a glass. It is our aim at Serendipity Wines to give you a glimpse behind the scenes and bring you some of the magic of wine a little closer to home. Chachi Piccolomini d'Aragona. Uh, his long name will explain everything uh, uh, right now uh, about uh, this uh, long name uh, or last name of the family. Uh, you can see we are center south of Montalcino. Uh, we're facing uh, the Monte Amiata and uh, we have a beautiful wind from the coast uh, coming into the valley. And uh, of course, we'll talk more about it. Uh, so I want to start in this way with this uh, winery. Chachi family was a family, a local family, purchased the property late 1800, 1877. Uh, Elda Chachi married uh, the Alberto Piccolomini d'Aragona. Uh, so the property became Chachi Piccolomini d'Aragona Palace. Uh, in 85, long story short, in 85, uh, Elda Chachi uh, passed away and uh, um, gave the entire property to Giuseppe Bianchini, which is uh, uh, the grandfather uh, of uh, Alex and uh, uh, the father of uh, Paolo Lucia. But Giuseppe was already the farmer and the manager of the winery, the winery, the, the, the land for many, many years. And he introduced a modern technique uh, that time grow quantities and also quality of the wine. Uh, unfortunately, Giuseppe in 2004 um, uh, died and left everything to uh, in the hands of uh, Paolo and Lucia, which are the son and the daughter. And uh, now, again, long, long story short, in 2021, for several years, Alex managing uh, uh, the winery under the supervision of his father, Paolo. Uh, well, I present to everybody uh, Alex Bianchini. Alex, ciao, ci sei? Ciao, ciao, sì, sì. Hi, everybody. Bene, bene. Uh, really excited to have you two actually uh, in this beautiful conversation. Thank you so much for wait. Uh, it's an honor, of course, yeah. to have you here. Uh, I know next to you, um, uh, Nicoletta. Uh, I met both of you, and uh, it was a pleasure for me to be at, at the winery a couple of years ago. Uh, Alex, let's go straight to the conversation. And uh, of course, my first question is uh, uh, how everything started with you in the winery. Uh, I guess. Uh, uh, your father uh, let you start when you were a teenager. Uh, tell us about it. Yeah, so uh, so the origin of the state, uh, you have uh, just a whole, uh, all the history because uh, the name of Chachi Piccolomini uh, d'Aragona is uh, a marriage between the Count Alberto Piccolomini d'Aragona and the Countess Elda Chachi. Uh, in uh, 1985, uh, my 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 grandfather, uh, so uh, the Countess, uh, she um, she left in heritage uh, all the property, a noble property, and uh, so uh, he uh, started to turn a noble property in a in a into a real winery that uh, we know uh, nowadays. So I started only six years ago uh, because uh, so I have studied, I live in Siena, so and I started only in uh, 26 years ago. And so I take care of uh, the production part. So I like to stay in the vineyard, to stay in the cellar, uh, follow all the process uh, to uh, making a wine. So I, the, the, the part of the business, uh, so I follow the whole because it's a, it's a family business. So, but uh, I, I like to stay in a, in a vineyard, uh, to stay in the cellar. So this is a part uh, that I prefer. <laughs> okay, nice. Uh, nice introduction of uh, uh, what you do. But can I ask you which part uh, of the business you like most and less? So uh, just say um, so. I like, I like to stay only in uh, the vineyard in the cellar because uh, so the office work so is uh, <laughs> so very tired for me and uh, for this reason there is uh, my sister Nicoletta 
and uh, and Mauro, so the, the three people that think uh, the the sales part, and um, my aunt, so the co-owner uh, with my my father Paolo Lucia uh, for the administration part, uh, and so I follow my my father for uh, uh, the the production part, uh, and uh, so and I love it. Okay, nice. Uh, you know, as I said at the beginning, I was lucky enough to be uh, over there at the property a couple of days with uh, my family a couple of years ago. And it uh, was the only one time in my life I spent uh, pretty much uh, the weekend at the property by myself. Nobody was there. You guys <laughs> were off during the weekend. And the first time ever I had a winery for myself. Uh, that was an incredible experience. I walk around the vineyards. I did, uh, you know, pretty much everything. Usually, you know, there are tourists or all the visitors. I, I, I got really lucky. Well, you know, um, I, 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 what I want to say is that I was w walking around. Of course, I know about the microclimate over there. I know uh, what looks like, but I, I like to hear from you uh, how it's so special, uh, that piece of land uh, which uh, your family owned for many years now. Uh, explain to us a little bit more about it. So um, we are um, located in the south east slope of the municipality of, uh, of Montalcino. And so we are very lucky because uh, we have uh, at the north side uh, Montamiata and uh, an hour far away uh, we have uh, uh, the coast of uh, Tirreno Sea. So we have a, a very, very perfect microclimate and the particular of this microclimate is uh, the, the plus is uh, our soil because so we have a, a lot of galestro soil, but uh, we are rich in a second step of the soil. Uh, we are rich of the clay. And so we have in, in, our, in our slope uh, in, during the summer, the temperature, so in, in, the, last, in the last years, uh, uh, the climate changes. And uh, so it's very, very hot during the summer here. But this soil uh, gives us uh, uh, an important um, quantity of the, the water, the humidity. And so uh, this is important for us because uh, so, we hope that the, 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 the climate is uh, changing, but uh, no, uh, always hot, very, very hot, because in, in the latest summer, for example, so we have a, a, the medium June drill it. Uh, so always uh, never rain, uh, uh, very hot, but uh, in August, uh, during uh, uh, the final uh, maturation of the grapes, uh, uh, we have a very, very good uh, temperature range uh, between daily and night. Uh, and so, and this give us uh, uh, the grapes, uh, the perfect maturation, uh, perfect aroma. So. Uh, in, for example, in the latest 20 years, uh, the, the harvest time uh, is uh, anticipated. So medium uh, one month uh, and we start uh, with the Sangiovese at the middle of September. And 20 years ago, we start uh, at the middle of the October. So this is, uh, I mean, uh, a very, very change. important climate change. Yes, yes. Yes. Well, talk about climate again. Uh, I know you as a family, as a winery, uh, you're really on, on top of uh, to make uh, the microclimate uh, work uh, really well. Also the micro system uh, around the, uh, the property. Uh, I, I was there a couple of years ago, as I said, and um, uh, you own a couple of wolves, I think. <laughs> is, is true? Is a um, couple, couple words is a, ah okay because uh, my haunt uh, so uh, yeah, yeah yeah my haunt uh, have uh, here near uh, the the cellar uh, this uh, now only only three wolf uh, but uh, uh, in uh, at the region uh, are six wolf uh, so but because uh, my my haunt. Uh, she love uh, the the animal so and she are uh, are the children for him uh, for him because uh, yeah never, it's, a, it's, a, it's part of the ecosystem so I love it when I see <laughs> exactly. that it's first time <laughs> yeah. ever uh, I, I see that in my life well you know um, I would love to go into the part of uh, your uh, uh, how uh, uh, vintage start and finish. 
uh, so now we test in a, uh, we, with you, uh, with your winery, we don't taste just a Brunello di Montalcino, but we taste in the Brunello di Montalcino Pian Rosso. Exactly. Uh, first of all, let's talk about uh, this beautiful project. Uh, for how many years now uh, you, you, you run in as a family and uh, what achievement uh, you, 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 you got for the last few years, few vintages, incredible achievement with the uh, rates and stuff like that. Okay, so the, the name Pian Rosso, because uh, so my grandfather, when we started to plant the, the vineyard, he started in this particular area of our estate, uh, are 11 hectares of the oldest vineyard now of our estate, and uh, until uh, to 2000, we produce only Brunello Pian Rosso. Uh, since uh, 2000, we produce Brunello Classico and Brunello Pian Rosso. So the, the different uh, is uh, the, the vineyard, of course. And um, Brunello Pian Rosso because uh, is, a, is a particular area that the soil, uh, so Pian Rosso, it means uh, red soil because the, the minerality of uh, Montamiata and uh, uh, give us, uh, give us uh, um, our soil uh, uh, the, the red color. Uh, for example, here mm, there is a, uh, so all uh, the, the, our zona is uh, near to our uh, vineyard called the Terra Rossa for this reason. And this is a particular area, so rich in uh, galestro, uh, medium grain, and uh, rich in clay in, uh, in, the second, um, <clears throat> in the second step of our soil, uh, is a very, very particular area, uh, area and uh, give us uh, the, this, uh, <laughs> I hope, uh, this, uh, this, this beautiful wine. And uh, from this wine, this vineyard, but only in the best vintages, we produce also our Reserva Santa Caterina d'Oro. Okay. And uh, yeah, of course, let's go to the uh, discussion. Uh, we have a couple more minutes. Uh, how you you create uh, this vintage is a 2016 uh, Pian Rosso uh, Chachi Piccolomini d'Aragona. Uh, tell us uh, in few minutes uh, the vinification process, if it's possible. Oh, absolutely, yes. So uh, we picked uh, the, the harvest, uh, we picked by hand. Uh, and when arrived the grapes in our cellar, the, the first fermentation, the alcoholic fermentation, starting the uh, uh, stainless steel vats, the first step. Uh, after one month, uh, only, uh, only one other uh, month in a concrete steel vats, and we put our uh, wine uh, after three months of the harvest uh, in a big barrel of Slavonia oak. And we use, we use uh, only big barrel of uh, Slavonia oak for uh, uh, three years for the Pian Rosso and uh, for 30 months for our Brunello. Uh, this is uh, another difference between uh, Brunello Pian Rosso and classic Brunello. Uh, so, uh, when we're talking about, for example, for this uh, fantastic vintage, uh, is, uh, is because the condition of the weather, uh, it was perfect. But uh, so, I, I think in Montalcino, in the, in the later, in in the latest uh, 20, 25 years, uh, the medium quality of the wine is very, very high. And for example, uh, in the um, vintage 2014, the very, very difficult vintage, but the, um, the winemaker in Montalcino decided to uh, produce very, a less quantity, but <clears throat> to, to try to, to, to search a very, very big quality. And this uh, Montalcino in the latest, uh, I think, uh, 20 years uh, is very, very increased uh, a lot. Yeah, just tasting the wine during uh, your beautiful presentation of, of the vintage uh, uh, is elegant, but at the same time is powerful. There are plums, there is a lot going on in the glass. Uh, is incredible. I, I just tasted during the conversation, but I want to taste a little bit more later. <laughs> yeah, Concentrate no, a little bit more. 
So, because the characteristic of our wine, uh, our slope is uh, to give us a very, very powerful dependo. So, not only the balsamic uh, and the floral notes, but uh, have uh, and a big structures, uh, um, very, very important uh, red fruit, uh, uh, black cherry. So it's a, it's a very, very important wine. And I think uh, have a, a, a good, a good uh, longest further in the cellar. Absolutely. Alex and Nicoletta, thank you so much. Uh, another incredible, uh, another incredible uh, uh, historic property, you know, in Montalcino, uh, third generation of winemaking, uh, uh, incredible. I have a goosebumps now because we are, we are done. <laughs> but, we uh, have to see you we, soon here. Uh, of course. Summer. Yes, <laughs> we will. We'll try to, of course, uh, come in, uh, in Italy as soon as possible. Um, I well, thank you <laughs> again. I want to thank the old guests, our guests again, uh, customers, uh, the wineries. Uh, for me, it was an incredible an hour, an hour and 15 minutes uh, conversation. I hope everybody enjoyed. I hope everybody understood uh, what is the potential of Montalcino. Uh, from now to the next uh, 20, 30, 40 years uh, and uh, do business with you, for all of you. And uh, saying that, uh, I hope uh, um, you guys uh, support this important producer and be inspired to showcase their wines and uh, on our in your list uh, on your wine shops. Uh, uh, for us, it's really important. Again, uh, um, please, if you want to place any orders, I'm pretty sure you will. Contact your sales rep right away today and uh, make orders because uh, uh, we know that the allocations are not big and they will run out uh, really soon. Um, I want to say ciao, grazie mille. Thank you so much to everybody. And uh, hopefully we see you soon at the uh, Icon Series. Thank you, guys. Ciao. 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 Thank you. Ciao a tutti. Ciao, grazie. Ciao. Ciao, ciao a tutti. Ciao a tutti.